What's happening YouTube? This is the Roll Assassin YouTube name, Chasing Mr. Hamilton. You already know as usual. I'm out here. I'm collecting the bounty on this road one cent at a time. Look man, new drivers, old drivers, ancient drivers, I don't care what it is, but I'm about to change your life. I am about to change your life. Now I'm playing. <laughs> Psych! Now I can't save your life, but uh, the game of trucking is changing, man. The game of trucking is changing. And some of y'all don't realize that, but I'm gonna open up your mind. I'm gonna open up your mind. Um, see, one thing that some of y'all don't realize is this. I, a couple weeks ago, you know, I made a video that said it would be a huge mistake not to start with Swift Transportation as a new driver, right? And I named all the good things about Swift, size, fleet, driver, so forth and so on. Now, the trucking industry is changing. I believe that monopoly has begun in the trucking industry. Yes, I want to give a shout out to all my haters. You know, I love you. I got love for you, man. Because if I ain't got haters, that means I ain't doing nothing right. But guys, back to the tax at hand. The trucking monopoly has begun in the trucking industry. Why did I say this? Well, let me give you an example. A couple months ago, Swift Transportation went and bought out night transportation. Yes, a lot of people say they didn't buy it out. They march with night transportation. You know, it is what it is. Call it whatever you want, okay? So let's say they march with Swift Transportation. I mean, with night transportation. Now, Swift Transportation by themselves had 16,000 drivers and 14,000 fleet. That's by themselves. Now they buy, they bought out a march with night transportation. So you add another maybe five, six thousand drivers, maybe you know seven, eight thousand fleet. On top of that, Swift already, Swift already owns Central Refrigerators. I know you see them, Reefer Division. Hey, sorry guys, my my truck is regening. But uh. So that's huge. So they already got little guys underneath them already, right? Um, one of my viewers viewers went and commented and say they didn't buy our night transportation. They merged with night transportation. So, but I know for a fact that Swift owned more than fifty percent of the stake at night transportation when they merged or bought out. Now, one thing, if you know anything about stocks, right? If an individual go and buy more than 50% of his stock, that individual is considered to be the owner of that company. You know what I mean? Anyways, the move that Swift made to merge or own night transportation, I believe that's a move for monopoly. Because when you think about monopoly, for example, when you think about monopoly in the customer service division, what company comes to mind first? Walmart. When you think about monopoly, Okay, when you think about Monopoly and the fast food division, what company do you think of? McDonald's, right? McDonald's. Now with all Monopoly, there has to be a challenger. And it's funny, this is what just went down, I think a month or less than a month ago, right? A couple months, a few months ago, Swift went to March with night or bought at night transportation, depending on what you believe. And now guess what happened guys? Monopoly is beginning and this is a fact. This is why I think so. I, I can't call it a fact because this is just me based on my research and this is what I think is going on. After Swift made that move, Heartland Express or Heartland Transportation, whatever you want to call them, went and bought out Interstate Distributor. I repeat, Heartland Express bought out interstate distributor you know what that told me that tell me i'm not the only one right that tell me i'm not the only one thinking that that swift is just trying trying to take over the trucking industry i mean they're already the biggest thing out here 
and now they went and merged all bought out night transportation just added to the numbers to start with the reason why swift got so many freight and swift can afford to train people and give you a job straight out of school because swift underbid everybody else for contracts do your research do your research swift underbids everybody for a contract or an account that they wish to have you can't compete with swift you compete with swift you're gonna go bankrupt okay so not only has other big companies already have to fight them for contract now they add them more so heartland is like wait a second man look you're already big enough swift why are you bringing in night transportation so heartland went and bought out interstate distributor i mean this 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 is a capitalist country right i don't dog them for that i actually appreciate the move because they ought to be a competitor to swift if not next thing you know swift gonna be buying out everybody man swift gonna be buying our little dogs this is my prediction i bet within the year two or three years you're gonna have either crst is gonna merge or buy out maybe like uh cr england or klm anyways there's gonna be another margin of a big company going to another in order for you to compete in order for you to compete also the the, the story behind night and uh and swift coming together there's a little bit more behind the scene right jerry myers is the owner of swift jerry myers started with uh with central refrigerator and then he put that under his daughter's name his daughter got married and guess to who when he got married her and her husband ran central refrigerator ball long story short her husband is the current ceo of night transportation right so pretty much it's a family business. They're running the trucking industry as a family business. Father, son, son-in-law, and daughter, they are running the trucking industry. Now my question is, with all this margin of big companies happening, this is the beginning of monopoly, bro. You can, you can say, ah, this African don't know what he's talking about. That's up to you. You can say what you want. You know what I'm saying? You can say what you want, but I, I'm foreseeing this and I'm calling it early. So a couple years from now when big companies, big companies start coming together, you, you, you have to admit, Mr. Hamilton call it first, man. He called it first. Anyways, that's it, man. Heartland Express bought our interstate distributor. Swift Transportation bought a or March with night transportation. Now the question is who's next? And the question is, is this good for company drivers or even owner operators? Like, you know, is this good for us? Only time will tell, guys. Keep in mind, man, Monopoly has begun in the trucking industry. I'm out. Make sure you subscribe, man, for more videos.